Janae, your face is so dirty. You've been playing in the mud? I have to wash your face. Look at you with your little tongue sticking out. You're a little cutie pie. Lay down. Look at what a good girl. You're much better on camera than you are in real life. She's a good girl. Janae's a good girl. Look at you got branches hanging off of your mouth. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you're blinking because you feel good. Good girl. Good girl. What about Bandit? What's Bandit doing? Hi, Bandit. Bandit. He does not like to look at the camera. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's he's on watch. See how it looks now. This is what it normally looks like. Whoops, sorry. Um, when we're not having a dust storm. <laughs> oh, so the grapes, uh, they did f freeze dry. <laughs> I should say freeze died. But guess what? There's green. And almost everything that had a problem with the freeze has come back. Okay, this big mess right here, I don't know. I'll get to it later. Maybe in the winter, because last last year, I'll go ahead and show it to you. Last year, we, um, Ron and I, in the winter, we planted squash in here. So... <clears throat> But he was cleaning them out, and what he was going to do was put this um, mesh down below uh, to keep the um, the rabbits and the gophers from climbing in. And a friend gave us this watering system, which would really be great for this, if I could figure out how to use it. So Ron built these. It was really cool, because I think it was two and somehow we made it extra and then these poles um held up a shade cloth but you know this fence is crazy lame <laughs> so i don't know what to do about that i'd really like to take it down or do something else with it so i'm trying to deep water the big trees um and professionals coming this week and so we're we should have uh lava rock here and um they're so big look how tall they are so beautiful so um yeah we're gonna get some lava rock and pesticide and fertilizer and give these trees every chance every chance we can god bless them um any other news my friend elaine came over today i might as well show you i thought someone else was coming but they changed their mind so i didn't have any help and i'd been delaying until they arrived so that we could work together, but that didn't work out. So my friend said, I'm coming over. It was so cool, I wish I'd got a picture. She brought her own bucket with her own tools, even a, a collapsible rake that she got from Camping World. It was like the coolest thing and it's the lightest weight rake in the world. So what's kind of neat is you'll see what we didn't do, <laughs> which will, show you what we did do so this beautiful this is probably the grandpa mesquite tree right here had um this awful weeds all around probably all the way out to here all the way over to the side and back and as i get closer you can see the weeds oh there's a big rabbit see the rabbit where'd he go there he goes <laughs> Run, rabbit, run! <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Okay. So you can see these weeds. I don't know what they are besides annoying. And some random hose. I don't know. We didn't know where that, what that is or where, what it's for anyway. Look at that gigantic hose. Okay. So we'll dig that out or something someday. We got a lot. We did, did a lot, but you can see there's still more to do. And I think I can get this, but she got under the tree. I mean, it was amazing. She got stuck. I was doing work with a, um, you know, something with a, a long handle. So I was kind of standing up and leaning over. Oh, you hear that sound? I think there's some coyotes. The coyotes start. It's a pretty... Pretty sunset. All right. Well, anyway, look at this. So clean. So pretty. So we got, oh, I mean, it's amazing what we did. I think we worked for about three hours. There's my gorgeous um, solar panels. Thank you, Ron. It's awesome. Set me up. He set me up. And you see the mesquite. They're starting to bloom. So pretty there. I love when they're this color so pretty they didn't have a problem with the freeze they just kind of stopped for a sec <laughs> so one more thing i'll show you and there's the how big the trees are beautiful mesquite in the front this is where when we were living in the trailer let me turn around this is where we stayed this this was behind us and it was about <clears throat> let me see uh four or five times as wide as it is now and the trailer was right here. Of course, there was no solar panels. There was like an animal pen in this whole area that uh, I've got a video, I should post it, of Ron and Dad doing, um, what were we calling them? Railroad tie rodeo or something like that. And then this was in front and I have a video of um, when I was in the trailer and I saw a lizard and a ground squirrel sharing a rock. It was so funny. So maybe I'll post that too. Let me know in the comments if you want to see the lizard and the ground squirrel or the um, railroad tie rodeo. So there you go. That was where our, tra our trailer was. Oh, there's a nasty crows. Oh, do not like them. When I clap, Janae comes and chases them away. There she goes. She just saw one. <laughs> Alrighty. So I was going to show you one more thing. It's loud because this is where the AC is. But uh, you can see this is how much uh, net um, kilowatts that I'm using. That's how many have been delivered historically. And historically how much I have produced and sent to them. And um, <clears throat> three months ago, it was probably a thousand. So it's going down like almost a hundred. And if it's going down, that means I'm not going to be charged any electricity because it means I'm not, it's not going up. So I'm not, I'm not using any of their electricity. I'm selling them my electricity from my solar panels. So pretty cool. Someday I need to figure out how to get off their grid and just my own. So I'd have to buy some. Uh, batteries or something. Batteries! They're like $10,000 each. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.